We're here with sophomore starting pitcher Nick Whitaker and sophomore outfielder Alex Lawrence after an 11-9 victory over Endicott College here today in Florida. The Monks are now 4-1. Uh, Wet, you got the start today. You went five innings, five strong innings, allowed three hits, no earned runs, walked one and two strikeouts. Alex, two for four, two runs, two RBIs, and a home run to left field, a bomb. Uh, Wit, just talk about today, your first start down here in Florida this season. Uh, talk about how you felt about your start and how it went for you. Yeah, well, today it was really just like getting used to the competition. Really. And, I don't know, just getting used to it, really. But uh, I threw a lot of fastballs, um, just letting them hit, uh, letting them hit it. You know, so. Embracing contact, yeah, I mean, getting a lot of ground balls. Make the plays, really. Right. They did a great job. They made some huge plays, especially Lincoln. With, uh, that runner on third, he made that diving uh, play and took his, uh, yeah, from his knees. And the whole plate. Yeah. Yeah. And that was huge. That was a big play. That was a huge sure. play. That was a momentum swing right yeah. there. Um, and a great job by you today. Five strong innings. Got the Monks off to a really good start. Um, and Alex, two for four. The bomb. First bomb for the Monks this spring. Uh, talk about how it felt to hit that jack. Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't know it was gone when I hit it. I knew I got it good. Um, I didn't think it had the height, to be honest. So, uh, I didn't get to see it go out, unfortunately. But um, it was a 2-2 two -two count, I believe. And I was just saying, don't get beat away. And he made a mistake, and I, uh, I capitalized. So, uh, I didn't tell you that. Yeah, kind of put me off to a good start in the game. Uh, it was nice to see finally my, uh, my swing was coming along after a couple shaky starts. Uh, hopefully, I can keep the momentum going into the next game. You seem to be almost a better hitter with two strikes. Like you're just up there, and you see, I think a lot of your hits this, this spring, or many of them, have been with two strikes. What is your mentality as a two strike hitter? Uh, personally, it's don't get beat away. Just to make sure, uh, I know a lot of umpires call that strike, and if it's there, you, you can't look foolish taking it. No way. I just uh, make sure I don't leave the call up to the umpire, and I, I want to put a good swing on the ball. Now talk about our catching core this year. Uh, we've had two young guys come in, play very well, but in particular today, uh, Willie Brown threw out three guys at second base and picked off a guy first. And talk about what that what that means for a team to know that maybe you don't have to worry about the runners quite as much. That's huge. I mean, that's an inning right there. Those three, three outs they threw. Um, right. I mean, it gets me off the hook because I think one of them was a, I think a walkie guy. Mike, threw him out, so, I mean, it's huge. That's really cool. And Alex, of course, last year you came in as a catcher, as a freshman. Um, you saw a lot of DH at bats. Now you're playing the outfield, started off and left. Now you're in right with a, with a uh, little bit of an injury to Nate Martin. Talk about the moves. Uh, well, it's exciting. I was excited to get out there. Uh, yesterday I recorded my first outfield uh, put out, which was exciting. I know my dad was looking forward to it. Um, and uh, from going from left to right, I've never really played right in my whole life, but uh, Nate Martin and Sam Buss have really talked me through it, helping me positioning-wise. And uh, they just uh, helped me get good reads off the bat. So, uh, the change has been easier than anticipated. And uh, with great leadership, that's uh, possible. Definitely. Now, guys, uh, four and one. Great start for the Monks. Uh, lost this morning to Wheaton uh, in a hard-fought battle. Uh, but much better start than last season where the Monks finished uh, with just two wins down on their Florida trip. Both you guys can kind of chip in on this a little bit. What does it mean for you guys to get off to a really good start like this? Uh, it's huge. It's what the coach has been emphasizing. Um, when we've been playing indoors before we left, it's exactly what we wanted to do. But, uh, it's a big momentum for us going to the season. I think it relieves some pressure because uh, we know we know uh, we can do special things this year. We know uh, we could be contending at the end of the year. And I think jumping out here, getting a couple wins early, uh, helps us relax a little more at the plate. Helps the pitchers calm down faster. And I just think uh, in the whole, it's going to really um, benefit us in the later part of the season. Well, guys, speaking of relaxing, uh, tomorrow's your day off on the trip and the midpoint of the week. Anything going on tomorrow? What you guys? Uh, what you guys have planned? Uh, definitely gonna sleep in. Uh, relax by the pool. 
probably just keep it low key. Uh, uh, see if uh, anything else happens. Uh, Boy, wait. I got a whole lot of TV on my schedule. Uh, I'm gonna jump into a pool. Uh, that should be nice. Uh, maybe stay out in the sun for a little bit, not too long. Uh, of course, sleep in. It's big. I'm waking up early. Uh, I think this day is really what's gonna make our trip because we're gonna get our rest we need and we're gonna bounce back strong. Right, thanks a lot, guys. Congrats on the win today, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you.